Good morning. It's Wednesday, June 21st, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Life's Wider Picture, and our scripture is Proverbs chapter 4, where Solomon writes, My child, listen to me and do as I say, and you will have a long, good life. I'll teach you wisdom's ways and lead you in straight paths. When you walk, you won't be held back. When you run, you won't stumble. Take hold of my instructions. Don't let them go. Guard them, for they are the key to life. Don't do as the wicked do, and don't follow the path of evildoers. Don't even think about it. Don't go that way. Turn away and keep moving. For evil people can't sleep until they've done their evil deed for the day. They can't rest until they've caused someone to stumble. They eat the food of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. The way of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn, which shines even brighter until the full light of day. But the way of the wicked is like total darkness. They have no idea what they're stumbling over. My child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart for they bring life to those who find them, and healing to their whole body. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Avoid all perverse talk. Stay away from corrupt speech. Look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you. Mark out a straight path for your feet. Stay on a safe path. Don't get sidetracked. Keep your feet from following evil. A question which I've always viewed with a little watchful skepticism is, where do you see yourself in 5, 10, or 25 years? Watchfulness over my answer is a matter of following the instruction my coach in high school gave me about hitting. He said, keep your eye on the ball. So, my skeptical eye doesn't have contempt for looking ahead to make plans, but rather objecting to such a short view. As a life navigator, I would rather see the end goal. It's easier to chart a straight course that way. And to do that for a life plan, you need to step back, get higher in the balcony, and see the big picture. That snapshot of planning a life from the mere wisp of time we are granted on this planet, 50, 60, or even 110 years, is way too short a focus. Planning where and how you want your life to make an impact demands looking down the road for generations to come, even into eternity. I'd rather start from the longest point from now and work backwards to the present. Now, many people would say, that's impossible. You don't know the future. And I would certainly have to agree that I don't know the future, but I certainly can plan for and step towards a goal I set for the future. That is exactly where Solomon's wise advice comes in. Wisdom for setting a life's course begins with developing a worldview based on the light of truth, leaving evil and darkness in the dust behind you. All else is meaningless vanity if King James is a must for you. Only truth will guard your heart from sinking into and following evil. When truth governs your heart, it will keep your mouth from perverse speak. Strength, healing, and kindness will be your legacy, and it will last through eternity. For you today, If you'll let Solomon's godly light of truth guard your heart today and always, then five, twenty, or two million years from now, your words and life's impact on all who cross your path will stand true, while evil is long forgotten. Prophet Isaiah has our last word today. The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of our God stands forever. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.